We all share a dad. We each have different mothers. He was from a, a little town in northern Minnesota, Wakan, Minnesota. That's where he grew up. And then he went into the military in 1941. Uh, he was a soldier stationed here in Newfoundland from 1942 to 1945 during the Second World War. Um, and he and my mother had obviously had a relationship that I was the product of. I've been doing some writing about growing up in Spencer's Cove and the people that I shared my life with in Spencer's Cove. And my um, wife, Cherry Daly, bought me um, a DNA kit for Christmas thinking it would help me uh, find out more about more distant relatives in Newfoundland uh, that would help me in, in that research and writing. We had no expectation that I was going to find anything beyond that. I grew up in Nebraska on a farm in northeastern Nebraska. I grew up knowing I was adopted and I didn't particularly want to do anything about that until after my parents passed because I didn't want to do anything that might say there was anything wrong with how they raised me because there, there wasn't, you know. This was a wonderful life that I had. I was the fourth of six children in what today would be termed a blended family. But we were a very tight, unified, close family. Um, my stepfather was the only father I had ever known in my life. I was only an infant when I became part of his family. I do remember some things about my father. He and my mother uh, met in Minneapolis and the marriage started to fall apart and uh, he left right around my fifth birthday. My background was very different. Again, I came from a broken home. My uh, mother was ill for much of the time that I was growing up. So I spent most of my time with my grandparents. And uh, it was um, kind of different for me because I didn't have the family that my other siblings here have. In fact, I grew up very much believing I was an only child. When I found out about American relatives, I very quickly put two and two together and, and, uh, and figured out what the situation was. So that's when I contacted them. It was an emotional uh, meeting. It, it's, it's very difficult when you think of meeting somebody face to face for the first time who's your flesh and blood. It hasn't I impacted in any negative way on my family. It has just enlarged my family. I have some new people in my life. We didn't grow up as brothers and sisters. We've missed a lot of experiences and time. Um, but now we have an opportunity to grow together. What has it been like for you to learn that you're not an only child? And not only are you not an only child, you have multiple siblings. And to find all this out at this point in your life, what's that like for you? Um, I, I guess it, and I hard, have a hard time talking about this <laughs> and not getting emotional, but um, it's, it's that kind of uh, completing the circle sort of thing. I, I always felt that there was a hole there somewhere that, and that was why genealogy was important to me because I was trying to, trying to fill that hole. And uh, I really kind of did that with these two. So, I mean, I have my own children and they have, you know, their families, but it's been, it's been a very fulfilling experience. We sit alike, we walk alike, we hold our hands alike, we um, have similar careers. We're all educators in some sense. You know, John taught at the university. I taught high school for 31 years. Uh, Dennis was with NASA and, and did lots of teaching and docent work and all of those. I mean, we are, dear old dad passed along some pretty decent genes, you know. We, we have to be thankful about that. It, it's, hard to, it's hard to explain. It, it, was, it was surreal, it, it really was, to realize that there are, are two people, at least out there, that are, are my siblings that I had never known about, you know, in 78 years. Um, I think of it, I use the term serendipity because it's like finding something special, um, life-enriching, uh, when you weren't looking uh, and you weren't expecting to find anything. So it was, it, it was very special. What do you think he would think about this situation and the three of you finding each other at this point? I think he would be dumbfounded to begin with because I actually asked him one time, you know, do I have any brothers and sisters? And he said, not that I know of. Now, I think he might have been less than truthful because I would be surprised if he didn't know about Brother John. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure he probably did not know about, you know, Judy, but I'm sure that he would be extremely surprised and um, maybe a little bit chagrined about all that we've learned about him <laughs> and the places that he was and the people that he knew. Do you think there could be any more of you out there? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt. I'm not convinced we're done yet. Um, I, you know, Dad was in Newfoundland busy for the years that he was there during World War II. I'm not at all going to be surprised that there aren't more siblings. Um, I joke with my sons about how you can't have too much family. They sort of grumble at me when I say that, but that's my belief. You can't have too much family.